Here we go, another day at the junkyard. I think it's trying to rain, so I didn't record right now, but got a phone call and just said, uh, what the heck, record it. Almost done. Pulled this one and one other one, so let's get down there. Alright. It's the third transmission I pulled to the one more to. Alright, here we go, torque converter time. Someone had commented that they stripped one of these bolts. And that's real easy to do, especially if you don't do this you know, every day. So uh what I recommend you do instead of just taking them off one by one like I do, boom, going one after the other, I would crack them loose like that. <laughs> I would crack each one loose and then retighten it, but not too much. And then go to the next one, crack it, retighten it, do all three like that, just to remove the pressure and then take it off. Because uh, if you're down to the last one and you strip it, oh man, sometimes uh, it just gets too hard, pressure's too on there, it just starts shifting a little bit, you know, it just throws off the, the weight distribution and just makes it harder. So I would just crack them first, you know, and uh, go from there, but Anyways, I'm gonna take this baby off. I might just fast forward it just to make it quicker. Let's go.
coming down a little bit. Yeah, up and ready to go. Man, nice 07 right here. It's a hybrid though. Probably good transmission too. Yanked this one off too, but not today. Got that other two-wheel drive over there. Tool chest, swap the mats over there. Let's Get down there and pull it off. Where it starts raining harder. Supposed to rain for the next like three, four days, so let's get started. Big old piece of carpet. Right now. Not bad. Let's set this baby up.
death trip. Yeah, they just set these things on the running boards. That one staying on plastic in the frame, the body cab frames right there, but still suck off, but oh well, let's get out of here. Fast. This is my fourth transmission. Tired. I should go for five, but. The second one was a 4x4, four four, so like 15 minutes. And uh, I just thought it was gonna rain earlier. I started recording because I was trying to get done.
Look how it's right there. Ooh. My hands are noodly. transmission without removing that but especially on Silverado and Tahoe Suburban Avalanche Escalades that top bolt sometimes these these right here the other side so when you hold the fuel lines they're really really hard to get to Get out of here, man. Get out of here. 
15. Yeah. Almost there. Almost there here. Yeah. I was done already, but I didn't want to go swimming tomorrow for the next day. So I just kind of pull some off and stash them somewhere. I'll probably just take one. Right off. Oh man. See a moment of truth. Oh no, I have not that real. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Man up. Got a man up right here. Get this baby off. Cool. If we want to find a nice little spot there for the phone. Third bolt. Seeing these torque converters falling on people's faces, they don't end up too good. Pulling off torque converters with like a regular ratchet. Work. The small. This is probably the smallest I would go for leverage, you know, but you can go longer. I'll, I'll always go longer. On the last bolt, I always hold it back up to release that pressure. Thank you. 
trying to stash this one away. I don't have room to take it home. <laughs> Woo! Well, I think that's pretty hidden. Gotta be a very determined individual to get to this baby. Oh, that's quite harder. I don't want to mess it up, but get out of here. It's starting to rain harder and harder. Well, that about does it for transmission to one day. Or 4L60s, I should say. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, just like and subscribe. Once I get to a thousand subscribers, we'll start turning these things apart. So that's if you want to watch, like and subscribe.